Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and in this video I am going to talk about the problems of April circuits 2021 of Hacker Earth and the very first problem is minimum operations. Okay, so before moving further in this video, let me clear you guys that if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, I will recommend that do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icons for latest updates since we are going to publish the latest contest solutions and their editorials with clear and cut explanation of these questions plus the latest topics and the very much interesting topics of competitive programming okay so so do remember that you should uh, uh, subscribe to our channel for the latest updates regarding the competitive programming topics okay so now coming back to this problem the problem name is minimum operations and before moving further let me clear uh, you guys that uh, there is a slight mistake over in this problem uh, due to which many submissions that is many of the people haven't submitted uh, this uh, that is haven't got the correct answer for this problem okay so let me clear that what is that mistake after reading out the problem statement i'm going to clear the everything okay so for now on let's discuss this problem okay so we have been given an array a of length n and we can perform the following operation on the array and what is that operation select a subarray from the array a that is the array with consecutive elements that is you must take care that we should choose some consecutive elements of this array A that is called a subarray, okay? And uh, that subarray A having the same value of elements, that is all the elements of this subarray, that is consecutive elements, must have the same value, okay? And decrease the value of all the elements in that subarray by any positive integer x. That is, after choosing that subarray, we are going to decrease that uh, all the elements value by any positive integer x that we want okay now there is one mistake uh, in this line that uh, if you try to solve this uh, uh, problem with the help of this operation that is with the help of this given data uh, this given statement you are not going to get the correct answer that is you are not going to fetch the uh, correct answer and 100 percent is cool okay now the problem is uh, the if you modify this statement that is decrease the value of all the elements in that subarray by any positive integer x and uh, make it equal to 0. There is a uh, single 2, 3 words. I think it is missing in this statement. That is, uh, you are going to decrease the value of all the elements in that subarray by any positive integer x and make it equal to 0. If you add this 3 words to this operation, then you will get a 100% score. Otherwise, you are not going to get a full score for this problem okay so there is a mistake in this uh, statement of this problem okay now coming back uh, coming back to the how we are going to find an efficient solution to this problem okay so let's move further so we need to find the minimum operations required to make all the elements of this array a equal to zero okay now so what would be the best solution of this problem okay so now for on let's discuss the input format first line contains an integer n denoting the number of elements of the array and the next uh, line contains space separated integers of the elements of the array. Okay. Now print the minimum number of operations required to make all the elements of the array equal to 0. And the constraints satisfy number of uh, that is length of the array is 5 into 10 power 5. So O of n square solution will not be valid. Either O of n or O of n log n solution would be a good choice for us. Okay. And the array values varies up to 10 power 9. I am that that is I am always frequent to discuss the constraints that is the reason behind this is that constraints are very much helpful to determine the complexity of the solution what this problem wants uh, which type of solutions okay so if the constraints are, are like uh, length of the array is around 5 into 10 power 3 or 5 into 10 power 2 then you can think for of o of n square solution and that should be a good choice okay so you must always after reading out the problem statement must always look over the constraints okay so coming back to this problem let's discuss how this problem uh, is going to be modified that is we should always take care that there are three words going to be appended over this operation that is uh, we are going to decrease the value of all the elements in that subarray by any positive integer x and make it equal to zero okay and uh, okay so let's discuss how this problem will fetch a good solution okay so let's discuss this problem with the help of examples okay so as you can see i have here taken a array of length 10 and we need to find the minimum number of operations 
to make all the elements of the array equal to 0. Okay. And, and for every operation, we are going to choose to select a subarray with all the elements equal, uh, all the elements having the value equal to some value, let's say x, and we are going to make this uh, all the elements decrease by some positive constant, let's say y. Uh, and make it equal to 0. Note that the problem statement doesn't say that we are going to make it equal to 0. Okay. So if you are not going to modify this operation by what I am saying, then you are not going to fetch the correct answer because the problem statement is actually wrong and there's, there are some statements that is missing over in this problem. Okay. So we are going to just make all the elements equal to 0. Okay. Now if you see in one operation, we are going to choose some subarray. Let's call it as 1, 1. And we are going to choose this subarray and make all the elements of the this subarray equal to zero. Okay, so this is costing me a single operation. Okay, now again we we can choose this subarray because all the elements of this subarray are going to be equal, and we can decrease all of them by amount equal to two and make it equal to zero. Okay, and again we are going to choose this subarray and make it equal to zero, and again we are going to choose this one and make it equal to 0 by decreasing all the elements of this subarray by, by an amount equal to 2 and again this one 0 and 0 okay so this is my the minimum operations and uh, if you think over that in one operation we are going to select a subarray with all the elements equal okay then the optimal case is choose the maximum length of that subarray having the length of equal elements okay in one operation you can choose this element that is the only single one but you need to care of that we need to select a subarray having the same value of elements and for the minimum number of operations we are going to choose as much as the length of that subarray having the equal elements that is this one and again this one okay and we uh, we are not going to choose this two then this two and then this three this is going to be invalid because three comes again and they all uh, all the elements of this subarray that is two two three are not going to have the hold the single same value so this is going to be wrong okay so we need to choose this one okay now coming back to how what should be the answer of this question okay the very simple is you can see what are the total number of distinct subarrays you can see the subarrays having the that is the total number of count of distinct subarrays such that the adjacent elements of that subarray are not going to be equal okay so you can see this is going to be count one and this is two three and four and five so our answer would be five Okay, so how to fetch, how to write an optimal code for this solution. Okay, now if you focus on the adjacent elements of this subarray, that is when the adjacent elements of this subarray is going to be differ, that is the S of i, you can also say V of i, where is the V stored, the vector of these elements of the array is not going to be equal to V of, you can say i minus 1. If you consider the current value and the previous value, that is 2 is not going to be equal to 1 our answer should be incremented by 1. This is going to be our uh, correct solution. And in this case, you can see here our answer would be incremented by 1. And again, here our answer would be incremented by 1. And here again, and here again. You can see in this case, I am getting the answers. If you use this condition, I am getting the answer as 4. Okay, but you can see our answer should be 5. But you must increment my this answer plus 1. And this should be our final answer that we should going to, we are going to print because you can see at every time we are going to just increment uh, when this condition is going to be true. I am just talking about the previous subarray. And what about this last subarray that I am not going to talking about? For this last subarray, I need to increment my answer by 1. Okay. So you just need to iterate over this entire array and check the adjacent elements. If they are going to differ, that is if they are going to hold this condition, just increment your answer by 1 and finally print the answer plus 1. That is going to be the required answers. Okay. Note that I am just modifying the problem statement like that. That is make all the elements of that subarray uh, equal to 0. That is decrease by any positive integer x and make all the elements of that subarray equal to 0. Okay. The reason behind this is if you are not going to just uh, use this statement like uh, okay so suppose you have this array that is the actual array that i have taken as for example and if you are not going to modify this problem statement which is actually wrong then the pro what would be the minimum um, uh, minimum number of operations that to make all the elements of the array equal to zero okay you can see in one operation i can just decrease this 3 and 3 to to this 2 and 2 and then again this 2 remains same and this 1 1 and again i can decrease this uh, all this 2 subarray so 1, 1, 1, 1 and again 1, 1 and this finally 1 and finally you can decrease all these elements of this subarray 
equal to zero. Okay. So what is the minimum number of operations? You can see minimum number of operations coming out to be three, and which is not the answer. If you try to uh, print the answer three for this example, this is going to be uh, you will get a wrong answer because the problem statement is actually wrong. If you append three words to this problem statement operation, that is make them equal to zero, then you will get the correct answer using this condition and using this logic. Okay. So okay so let's move on to the code of this problem okay you can see there's a 100% score accepted code and the only thing you that you need to do is just check the condition if vi is not equal to v of i minus 1 where i is going to start from 1 and it goes up to less than n then increment your answer by 1 and finally print the answer note that i have initialized my answer with 1 so so for the last survey that i need to take care of that okay and the time complexity of this entire approach would be O of n and a space complexity would be O of 1 because I am not going to use an extra array to perform any of the operations. Okay. So this is an accepted code. So if you have any doubts, do let me know in the comment section of the video and uh, I will ask the viewers to like this video, share this video and do subscribe to our YouTube channel and also join our Telegram channel mentioned in the description section of the video and uh, thank you for watching this video.